wanted to show the diversity between 31st Avenue, which looks like a traditional street fair that New Yorkers are used to seeing. 39th Avenue, let's call it what it is. It's kind of a bikeway in a suburban leafy enclave. And then 34th Avenue has this incredible depth of community. I love Shore Boulevard car free. Um, families, little kids, that's when you know people feel confident enough to ride in a bike lane. Uh, when there's small children playing, you know, drawing with chalk. Well, when it first opened, I brought my son down there with his tricycle and he could ride in the bike lane. And he just thought he was like so cool. And it was so nice because I didn't have to worry about cars. open so everyone got like a quick little cool down. That's what we need. We need more space for our communities during this time when we're all in our cramped apartment. I'm glad that we have this open street but obviously we need it to be more of a completely open street and that means not a roadway that simply slows cars down but actually stops them and allows for pedestrians and cyclists to take the street. We fought to get this street. We actually closed it ourselves uh, several months back. We did a little undercover action and closed the street without having a police presence. Uh, without that cost and, with, uh, and without the issues that bring. And we have a really amazing team of people that help us open and close the street. It takes us about 10 minutes every morning and every evening to have every single street closed. There are places in Queens that are not that close to parks. Uh, Jackson Heights in particular doesn't have very much parkland. It just gives people a chance to get out, enjoy the outdoors safely without having to worry about cars. The amazing thing about this ride is I'm looking around and usually there's a certain cast of characters who comes to our rides, but today we're seeing a lot of new people on bikes and they're here in the safety and security of riding in a big group ride to see all the different Queens open streets. Open streets are fantastic, not only for cyclists, but for the community, for the neighborhoods to come together. As we saw today, we had you know, the book fair out there, we had the community food fridges. Um, it really brings the communities together. I think it's incredible. We need to make it permanent. And we need to have it not, on 30, not just on 34th Avenue, but all over New York City. This is the way that the city should look. <laughs>